Hey, uh, Ty, we'll talk about Dean Miller. Uh, Coach just said he's coming on, putting on some weight, showing some signs. Yeah, Dean's been a guy since he's been here. He's been really athletic guy that can run, plays with a motor, really physical, but he was just 200 pounds. Now he's going on his second year in the program. He's put on a lot of weight. He's about two, he was 227 this morning. He's eating, he's putting it all together, and he, he's going to be a guy that's really going to help us. We're excited about him. Where do you want him to get to, weight wise? Uh, ideally, it'd be 240, but we've had guys play if they're explosive at 230, 235. So put on as much. He he burns a lot of calories after pre one, the way he runs and the way he conditions himself. So ideally, we'd like about 240, 235, somewhere around there. What do you attribute like the change in him? Like what's different between what he was doing before and now? And getting the weight gaining weight you just got to figure out your body sometimes and i think it took him a little bit and he really didn't know he came from juco so he didn't understand that he also was in COVID in junior college so he had a lot of food in front of him every day but he didn't know how, how much he really had to eat and how to maintain and coach sleeve and the nutrition staff working with him it just took his, his body a while to figure it out what have you seen from Dylan Brooks so far this spring? You know, Dylan started in the bowl game for us. That was his first start. He did a good job. He showed some flashes, and I think he's gained confidence. You know, he, he came in last summer, fall camp, everything was new to him. The season was new, and now he's start, the playbook's really starting to come together. He's an athlete, athletic, long, twitchy kid, and I think he's get, starting to gain a lot of confidence. Like, hey, I started a game in a bowl game, a big game for us. I helped us get a victory there, and now I just got to put it all together and, and keep gaining confidence. You obviously lose Austin, an all Big 12 guy. Just yeah. generally, how do you feel about the pass rush at this point in time? Yeah, I, I think I heard, you know, Kyron, John, Kyron left, and then we, we were kind of concerned, and then Lonnie came in, were we? And then we figured out with Lonnie, and then I think this time last year, okay, Lonnie's gone. What? It, it, it's just part of the process. I, I think guys always step up to the plate you never know who's sometimes you don't know how good a kid is because he's in the background he's trying to figure it out he knows he may not get a lot of reps with a guy like austin and jeremy in front of him and guys like dean and even dylan woodkey he, he he's came along and then dylan brooks i call him the three d's there those guys are all doing good cole petrus is doing good so someone always steps up to the plate or we do it by committee and, and i i truly believe that What's your, uh, when, you, when you recruited Dylan out of the portal, what were the things that when you watched him on tape, like what, what stood out to you? Speed, athleticism, twitch, um, long athlete, can do a lot of different things. And th that's what was intriguing. And he hadn't played a lot, but when you did see him, he, he just showed a lot of flashes. And those, those are things we look for. Are you a good kid? Can you learn a system? And then do you have those intangible traits? When you get a kid like that, you know, mm -hmm. the fan base says he was at Auburn, he was at mm -hmm. Auburn, he was at Auburn. How much do you talk with him about that? Fresh start, put that behind you. Don't try to live up to that because you're here now. I mean, does that yeah, go into I, I, it? He's a good kid. He, he's actually a small town type of guy. So he's not into the whole media deal and what people are saying. He's not really even on social media. He's he's a hard guy. If you text him, he's never on his phone. I mean, it's shocking. You know, he's never on his phone. So I didn't have to do a whole lot with that on him. Yeah, he, he's kind of comes to school, do, does his homework, and then comes in, works pretty hard. So pretty easy kid to coach. Dylan Woodkey, mm -hmm. obviously coming from Youngstown State. Yeah. What would that evaluation process look like looking at him and what were the things that also yeah. caught your attention? A, a guy that's played a bunch of football, a guy that's smart. I think he's working on his MBA. He's a 4.0 kid. He's an adult, and he I call him he's a grown man. He's very physical and a guy that has a lot of experience, you know, and, and that's sometimes – what you look for and he's he's been really good for us he picks up the playbook it's like he's been here two years so a guy like that he, he's going to be good for us because he has game experience and nothing seems to fluster him he's just very poised and and you need that especially when you're playing big games and all those exterior things don't affect him i was just going to ask what's it like with the group of kickers you got to see your guys who have been in the program but haven't necessarily had the in game opportunities yeah you know those guys you know they kind of sat on the sidelines last year both our snappers are back but our kickers owen kicked in a couple of games and charlie didn't kick in a game but he's been doing a good job all spring and this is where we compete in in the spring and then they'll they'll do a good job in the summer and then we'll go through fall camp and you know it's competition tabor's been around for three years he's one of the best kickoff guys in the country we just we're still battling it out and and, and working on our field goal guys yeah and, and more generally special teams you got like new voices in terms of the coaches around you just what's yeah. that like? 
Yeah, you know, and, and we still have some consistency with, with me and, and Coach Simpson and Coach Wallace. We're both back, and it's good to get new voices, what people do in different areas. And all we had a pretty good year overall on special teams last year nationally, so we just take little bits and pieces from other places, and we add to it. Coach, one thing about Coach Leifel, I've known him for 20-something years, right? A long, long time, and he will not let you settle to be average. Even if you had a great year, year he's always going to try to find ways to make us better, and that's what we've done on special teams with the new additions. Dak is obviously new to the program. Sure. Just what's the acclimation process been like for him so far? It's great because I, I call this bonus time. He's he's an early enrollee, so he's stealing all these reps. He is swimming right now. He's just trying to figure it out. Where we're installing our a lot of a lot of plays, and he doesn't know a lot of it. But you can see the his natural ability and skill set. He's going to be a pretty good player for us. He just has to keep chipping away. And you know, a young guy comes in, he wants it all now, and then he realizes, okay, these guys are pretty good. Uh, there's a step to this, but naturally. Even his size, the way he moves, we're really excited about him. He's doing a really good job.